The short women can stand underneath this. Anybody can stand in here. <laughs> and you're not going to believe when you get in here, you're not going to believe it's only six and a half feet wide. Wow. That's the real shocker. You're going to say, oh, look at that big part. That's. <laughs> How could it possibly be only six and a half feet wide? Wow, hey. <laughs> it's just, since there's cushions like these that are custom made to fit in there, uh -huh. I haven't even started the bedroom bright work and finishing. Both these open. <laughs> Very cool. Just curtains are pulled down and up. All right, somebody pulled this one too far. Come on. Granddaughter. Oh, this would be tightening up. something with this though. This was a piece of some kind of plywood we had and this out here is not too bad. This is a hundred and ten dollar wow. wholesale. So I need a door Howard and a new one. So I got touch up to do on all and just latching things. You know isn't everything like how do you yeah. hold this door back? I tried right. everything and finally came across these. They got little springs with yep. balls. Yep I've seen those. For yes. a that was the only thing that, that had enough tension, but you uh -huh. still, same with these windows, snap back the same way. Huh. Had magnets, had all this stuff, and just... Right. There's a light over every possible place you could want one. Are these uh, decorative, or are they... Oh, screws behind, screws behind you. Okay. Um, Got to put these on. These are ugly, these metal things here. So they get all covered with a okay. mahogany. That really sets it off, too. All right. Hmm. Wow. Plug AC and DC plugs. AC and DC? Yeah. I'll power it up if you want. You got a separate generator for the just for the electric. Run that run that uh, mm -hmm. ice maker and air conditioner, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, we're turning the airs right there. <laughs> <laughs> it also there's two complete there's two 10 amp circuits that come off that thing. Uh -huh. One of them one of them just feeds one plug, which the air conditioner is plugged into. Uh -huh. But there's also two giant blowers. To, the one is it sucks in the air here and blows it across the back of the air conditioner and then it all, all that seals so it all goes out the back of the boat. Huh. And there's another giant blower mounted under there that blows into the stream, the hot stream of the generator exhaust. Oh yeah? Because it got really hot. Uh -huh. But in the muffler it was the motor heat. Oh really? Yeah. It was just you couldn't get it out. All right. So there's a big blower, 150 cubic feet of air blower. That, there's a, oh, I'll yeah. show you. There's a ramp that all of it goes into and goes up into the compartment where the engine is. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so that was a... Running water? I don't need a boat either. <laughs> yeah, just right. <laughs> There's wiring. Down. I don't need any of this. Yeah. Uh, so for some of the lights are, are white or red. Uh -huh. We're reading my charts and stuff. Right. <laughs> so, and then if you got Howard around, you have real problems. Howard, it won't do right. Make it fix. <laughs> uh, yeah, boy, he's like having the all-purpose tool in your box, isn't he? Uh, I got a little filler, little wax filler things and fill all my holes. So it should really be fun. I got to get a latch on that. It tows like a dream. I got a big old Chevy Avalanche that's not here right now, and I literally can't tell it's behind the truck. With this wow. the big fancy trailer and has brakes on it. Uh -huh. And since it's only six and a half feet wide, it can't even, I can see straight behind it. Well, yeah, right. Huh. And it's just, 
the, the, I only get like 12 miles per gallon in the truck anyway, and with this, it still gets 12. All right. Nobody even seems to know. Yeah, I imagine if you don't have to tow it 70, 80 miles an hour, you're fine. Yeah, it's cruising yeah. right along. Yeah. Huh. I, and I think about you once in a while building this. Oh, yeah? So all the, I mean, it was neat watching you because you made everything you, to figure it out. Yeah, right. I was thinking the same way with it's this. It's kind of a sickness, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> You, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like, how do you put in this? You know, every single thing yeah. you take for granted until you actually have to do it. I know. Terry used to, we were commuted together for years and years, and she, we'd be driving down the road, and I'd just start doing something with my hand, and she, she'd be going, What are you doing? <laughs> I'm figuring something out. <laughs> no. No, I didn't just. Oh, and Hatchrod, this was supposed to be easy. Uh, this is maple veneer. Uh, glued to half inch styrofoam and they're simple to do you just put contact cement and glue them on except I had one sheet that was somehow it was smooth when I bought it but then it was wavy oh, right. it would not straighten out uh -huh. so I call that wavy maple <laughs> uh, they had even started to clean up more really on it but it's Right. Jimmy Carter in the bedroom is huge, actually. You see some tiny. Yeah, right. Well, it's seven feet long and six and a half feet wide. Well, it's a lot bigger. And your head's go on this end, so when you slope. Yeah, right. You can have room for the dog. I put 10 pounds of sand on the very bow under, underneath there in sandbags. I haven't put it in the water yet. Uh -huh. I think tomorrow with my son, we're going to go watch it in the lake and dry. But that should bring me down just right. Ah, uh, right. Plus the water. That's got some water bottles, these five-gallon plasticky things, uh -huh. and I made this high enough so that they fit under there, so it can have. Right. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that you don't think of until later, unless you spend a lot of time thinking of it. Is you know, an extra half inch here, mm -hmm. you know, makes all the difference <laughs> in the world. <laughs> the whole boat is designed. There's nothing that clears more than a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Right. You pull and pick the air conditioner has to be able to take it out. When it craps out, yeah, it's right. Hundred dollar one clears about an eighth of an inch. If you work it just right, it'll slide out. <laughs> the generator clears about an eighth of an inch, and a little hole back there. It's a refrigerator freezer. It costs five hundred dollars, but it has a, a real compressor in it, and electronic thing said it'll go anywhere from fifty degrees to minus eight degrees. Wow! And it'll go from when I first got it, I plugged it in. It'll go from seventy degrees to minus eight and a half hour. Wow. And then it shuts off. But the amazing thing is AC or DC. So I was thinking I was going to have to run it on the generator. Uh -huh. But on AC, it only uses 0.75 amps. AC amp. On DC, it only uses 4 amps DC. Wow. So I'm just going to run it in DC. Yeah, right. Which is and it's amazing. It was real hard to winch on with this camera. So I went over to the salvage store and bought a a big sheet of, what do you call that, plasticky stuff, uh, starboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. And ripped into long pieces. It, it's so slick now. Wow. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to have to have some kind of a keel tie down to keep it from sliding sideways. Funny, yeah. It's slick. It's Slip slick. side on now, huh? This is the best looking trailer any of us have ever <laughs> I was going to where did you get the trailer? It's torsion bars. don't even have springs. Um, there was a used stuff store, and I know the guy. So I was looking for it, and you can't find a used trailer. Uh huh. So I, went, I walked out back, and she, this was sitting there. It had never been in the water. There's still nubbies on all the tires. Somebody bought us a gave a sea ray came. Somebody bought a sea ray, took it to a high and dry place, took it off, and then parked this behind these place. Huh. I went there and said, "That's a nice looking trailer. Is it for sale?" He said, I don't know. What do you think it's worth? And I said, I'd give you two grand for it in a heartbeat. He said, some lady owns it in South Carolina. He comes back and he says, she said you can have it for $1,400. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. Wow, she drives a hard bargain. <laughs> wow. Uh, Funny. There's not a single fastener in the whole boat. Is it all? Not one. Really? It's it all PL premium glue and brads. Huh. Just glue it and pop it with bread. And when it, we were playing with it over here, and the front was lifted up so all the way was just on the keel, and the guys were, weren't paying attention. It went crashed over on its side. Uh huh. 
Nothing creaked. No windows broke. Not a single groan. Right. Anything. That was kind of a scary picture with it, with it on there sideways. I know. Steve screamed and ran. <laughs> Howard, Howard was over there and he was <laughs> trying to grab a board. Uh -huh. And I was sitting in the track going, and for flash of the eyes, oh, I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever <laughs> happens, I can <laughs> fix it. <laughs> well, hey, it survived a fire and, you know, what else? I know. Oh. You, you ought to. Oh. You'll have to keep a, a, a hash marks on it for how many lives it's got left. <laughs> Seven out of nine. So I made it to be totally indestructible, so when you bar it or run it up on something. Uh -huh. And with a latex paint, if it's already scratched, it, you just take the brush and go like this, and you can't even tell it's All right. there. Okay, enough fooling with this.